What's going on, everybody? How's everyone doing today? It's Rocky Boy from Flip the Thrift. I got to get my tires done today, and then I think we're going to do a little shopping, so let's go. All right, so, um, yeah, I uh, went to Sneaker Villa, got this dope Nike sweater. Got this hat, got the Jordan 1s, yellow and black. They are dope. They're very, very nice. I'll show them to you guys. There they are. And they're not comfortable at all. That's the thing. That's probably why I never owned a pair of 1s. I think I might have tried them on and I didn't like them in the store because they're just not comfortable. But, um, because Jordan wore a pair in a game um, just to wear them for nostalgia and his feet were bleeding at the end of the game because shoes have just gotten so more no so more advanced since uh, since 85 so anyway guys we're gonna get tires on old Bessie and uh, then we're gonna do some thrifting all right guys so six hundred dollars later but I needed tires so I think I'm just gonna trade this car in but anyway I think we're gonna go to care and share um, I'm just gonna use my phone because I don't have my GoPro and I hate wearing it anyway we already know that here she comes there she is there's Bessie with brand new tires let's go all right guys so we're actually in a town called Newport and there's a little store over here. They have like it's like a consignment shop Slash thrift store since there was a goodwill out here in Newport Pennsylvania and they shut down so I don't know if they moved. I don't know if they're just they're done I don't know what the deal is, but there's another guy that owns a shop out here and he has like Kind of like a consignment. It's like a really big It's like a big warehouse like a big building and he has tons of stuff in it, but his prices are kind of high with most of his stuff. But he has this he has this Chicago Bulls outfit hanging up when you walk in. If I can figure out where this shop is, I'm going to go to this shop and I'm going to show you this outfit. I think he wants like 120 for it. And it's really old. It's like, I think it's Chicago and it's like probably like 80s or something. So I think I could probably flip that online I think I could probably get at least three hundred dollars for it online it's like a sweatsuit like a warm-up suit but um we're gonna go into this shop right here first since I've rambled on enough so let's go all right guys so we found this Izod um it's brand new with tags it's gonna be six bucks it is a size small but I am gonna grab it anyway all right sorry guys there was people talking um the, the lady that owns the store was talking to a customer this is a real tree. It's made in USA. It's definitely vintage. Um, I think that's, I can't remember what that camo is called. It's like bark camo or something like that. But this is only going to be six bucks. I'm definitely going to pick this up because I think I could probably get 30 or more for this. And then along with this and along with the, along with the Izod, I did see this. It's kind of like a spirit jersey, but it's a Green Bay Packers. It's got the big spell out. It is pretty cool, but I think they want seven for it. So I'm kind of thinking about that one, but I'm going to finish the rest of this. There's a lot of clothing in All right, guys. So there's actually two of them. There's one's a large and one's an extra large. A lot of times she'll get like new items in here and she'll get like multiple sizes. So I'm kind of thinking that these are probably new. Um, not very worn, so I'm, I think I'm gonna pick these up. One is five fifty, and the other one is six. So for ten bucks to get both of them, I think I could probably get about thirty dollars a piece for these. All right, guys. So I found it on Google Lens. Someone has this hoodie listed for two hundred dollars. There's another one where they're the robots fighting. Like they look like Rock'em Sock'ems. This is called the Master Chief. This is Halo. It's on a changes um tag. Uh, it's going to be $7.50. I'm going to pick this up. This may possibly just be a bolo. All right, guys. So this is a Cam Neely. This is a Boston Bruins hockey jersey. Um, it's definitely authentic. It's on an old, uh, it's on an old Masca. Let me see if I can get the... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get the tag out for you so you can see it. There's the tag. It's on a Masca tag. I'm definitely going to pick this up. 
they do want to some of this stuff i have to pay up a little bit for like this is going to be 22 dollars, but it's definitely worth it all right so i forgot to ask her where that other shop was um so anyway big bag of heat it was like a hundred bucks something like that she discounted a bunch of items man i've been using the crap out of my phone today because it's at like 50 percent <clears throat> i think i was was i taking pictures this morning i don't even remember i'm going i'm going i'm going so i'm going to try to find this shop it, so there, there it is and the bad thing is small important there is the bulls outfit that i might might be walking out of here with this today i don't know we'll see but he does have some shirts over there i think they're on sale this is cool guys look at this this is a ghostbusters that one's a sealed copy he wants 90 for that i wonder what that's actually i wonder what that one sells for on ebay he's got a sealed copy of spider-man too pretty neat i think these are probably all sealed all right guys we bought the outfit it's like i guess you could say it's like a warm-up suit for sorry guys i'm gonna open my door i actually don't really need to pull my car up it's actually close enough but um yeah so it has a great big spell out you guys seen that great big spell out on it and it's just really 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 nice um i think that i paid a hundred and a quarter for it he's had it sitting he had it priced high because he didn't really want to sell it but today was the day for me to grab that up i think if i auctioned that out or if i do so, a little bit more research um they've been researching it forever and they ha can't find anything on it there's no tags all you see is ykk on the zippers but i'm gonna figure it out and it is convertible um it's a warm-up suit where the sleeves come off and so do the legs so it turns into shorts and short sleeves so that's something that um people probably would have used in like NBA. All right, guys. So he talked my ear off. Um, I paid a dollar a piece for those items. He had two sweaters hanging up. He had a McDonald of New Zealand, um, which is going to do very well. It's a it's a wool sweater, and then he had a the other one was an Orvis rugby. I've never seen an Orvis rugby, so I think it's striped too. Is it striped? It's in it's in there somewhere. But a lot of polo. Um, some Nautica, just some decent brands, not great brands, but for a dollar, I, it's like going to the bins. I can just blow them out for whatever, you know, whatever I feel is fair. So I'm going to hit this road up here. We're going to go to care and share. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible as I can in this store, but I can't wait to get that bulls outfit up and listed. I just want to put it at, I don't know what I'm going to list it for guys. I really don't. Um, when I get back home, I'm going to show you guys the outfit um, so you can see it, you know, in its, in its magnificent, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. But all right, let's go to Care and Share. All right, guys. So we are here. We are at Care and Share. I'm going to use the Care Potty over there and we're going to go in the store. And one of the things I forgot about this place is that I don't get signal in here. So I'm just going to have to guess. Like, there's some ink, but it is not sealed in the thing, is it? Yeah. Well, looks like somebody put tape over it. Yeah, it looks like somebody taped it, like, with some tape. But anyway, we'll see if we can find something. The last time I was in here, I did get a bunch of tools. They have a bunch hanging up. I'm going to check them out. I did find this Pokemon book from 2000. Um, I do sell coloring books all the time. There was this Zoe alphabet set. I'll show you um, what they look like. It's like a little set, and they're all like, they're these little books in an alphabet set. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know what they are, but I know that they're Sesame Street. But I'm going to look in this cart right here to see if there's any more Pokemon books. But... I don't know what that set is worth because, like I said, I don't get service in here, so there's nothing I can do. <clears throat> now we have these, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry guys, we have these Zodiac Foggers. I'm going to grab these. I don't know if they have an expiration date. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm only risking $2, so I'm going to grab them. Then we have this Guess the Gibberish. It doesn't have a price on it, but I'll probably get it for a dollar or fifty cents, something like that. And then, of course... I am not leaving the two-headed dragon behind. I am taking this with me. 
I always look at the plush because you never know. And um, I'm going to grab this tapestry bag. It's going to be $3, but it's brand new. It's tag. And I'm pretty sure I could probably get 20 or more for this bag. It may be worth more. It might not be. Like I said, it is a, it's a hit or miss when I'm here. If it's an item that I don't know that I'm not familiar with. If I do know the item, then I know to pick it up. All right, sorry about the music, guys. It's really loud over here, but there's these Power Rangers. Um, they look like little keys or something. It's going to be 75 cents. I'm going to pick these up because I'm not sure what they are, and you never know. They could be like a replacement part for a toy. All right, guys, so sometimes it does pay to inspect your items. Um, I've seen this coach purse, but the stitching on the inside is like really, really bad. So I'm like, you know what? I've never seen, I've never seen coach do a tag like that. Like that's real really sloppy and it's not the indentation is really bad so sometimes you got to go with your with your gut but um anyway we did find this brand new it's a like a giveaway victoria's secret it's it's only going to be three bucks the perfume was dream angels heavenly but i had to look on the inside of the bag to see that it was a victoria's secret bag and it is brand new with tags and uh this Looking at this sweater, it is pretty cool. It's made in USA. Still on the fence with that. And then <clears throat> found these shoes over in the women's Sesto Meucci. These are made in Italy. I don't think that these are like they might be lizard. Usually when they're lizard, they'll say it. They just say made in Italy, but they are pretty interesting, and they're only gonna be four bucks. So I think I'm gonna grab those and then check out this Rick and Morty. Um, this is a women, like a women's wallet, but it's only two bucks. I think it's new. All right, guys, so this is why I like to come here. These are made by Burn Apparel, B-E-R-N-E. -E. This is only three dollars. Um, they're in good shape. They just need a good, they need to be washed. Um, the elastic's in pretty good shape. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're like flannel lined. These are worth three dollars. Like, I'm pretty sure um, these have to be worth at least $30 or more. I could be wrong. They could be a lot more than that, but I'm going to grab these for $3. All right, guys, it's getting late. I'm trying to go as quick as possible, but as you can see, the store is just gigantic, and there's so much stuff to go through. Um, nothing really at the shoes, but I did find this tie. It's like George Dub Guff or something, like, and I can't look it up, so I'm just going to buy it and just... You know just kind of go from there but um what else did we get here oh yeah I'm, i also i can't remember what the name of this was but it's only two dollars it's a brand new it's a leather clutch i'm just going to grab that and we have this enro it's a brand new dress shirt it's only going to be two dollars i'm going to go ahead and pick that up and then check out these floor shimes these are vintage floor shimes they're wingtip brogue um, I guess they're like derby or whatever, but they're just in, they're in really good condition. I don't think that they're shell cordovan, but I'm definitely going to grab them for five. Right, so I'm going through the jackets. I'm going to pick up the Stanley Blacker because it's just really good. It's just a really um, good quality wool jacket. It's vintage. Um, it's, uh, it has the, the uh, union made. There you go. Here's a vintage Alan Stewart. The tag is a little suspect, like, almost like, um, I don't know, like, but the design on it is really cool. I might skip, um, a couple of these sweaters, but everything is so cheap here. We're talking, like, a dollar. Sweatshirts and sweaters are a dollar. Jackets are a dollar. And coats are three doll hairs. And I don't think I'll have a problem selling this Cabela's. It's only three dollars, and it is a, like, a trench raincoat. It's packable. On this military jacket... Um, I knew it was military right away as soon as I seen it. I can always tell. It has a military tag right there. It has a it has a um it has the thermal lining in it, like the thermal removable lining, but the condition is perfect. The lighting in here is kind of weird because where I'm sitting, but the condition of this is like it's all probably almost new. Alright guys, so these are made by Vega. They're like perfect condition. They're really big and they're have a long leg there these are a 3xl um and i think vega is a motorcycle so i think that's what these are i think these are motorcycle pants all right now we done did it these are team rated philadelphia eagles kelly green sweatpants i'm hoping that the waist is not stretched out i'm gonna check let me see hold on guys 
Yeah, these are old. Hear that cracking? But um, good news is they do have a drawstring. They're probably made in USA. Make an educated guess. Yup, there's the tag. If you guys can see. Whoop! There's the tag. Made in USA. Whoops. We're definitely gonna grab these, even though the waste is kind of doesn't matter because I'm not gonna pay much for these. And these are really really cool. They don't have any stains on them. They're just they're stretched out. So the good news is the um the tapered bottoms are not stretched. The elastic at the bottom is fine. Um, these are made by Switch, Switch New York. Um, the condition of these is like almost perfect. Um, I'm gonna look at the bottom and make sure that they're not hemmed. A lot of times people will hem them. They'll hem their jeans. No, I think if these are hemmed. That's a really good hem. But no, I think that that's regular. But these look like they're brand new pretty much and they're a big size so I'm gonna pick those up like I said jeans are denim is two and slacks are a dollar we go again we got vintage Levi's they are orange tab um, they're not double X but it should say yep right on the tag it says made in USA on the back tag and it's gonna say that probably they might have the tag on the inside I'm not sure but these are a definite swoop for two dollars. I'll probably get about thirty to forty dollars for these, maybe even a little bit more, because they are a bigger size and condition is really good. I definitely need to do more research on mugs. This one's pretty cool. Genuine Toro. This is um, Toro's like a power tool, um, lawn mower, weed whacker, things like that. Um, it's just a cool cup. It's one of those thermo serve whatever plastic cups. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up probably only going to be a dollar or something so we'll see all right guys so i'm getting really tired um i don't know i think i'm going to pick it up because i think that they're only this might be a dollar or two i'm not sure but this is american cancer society it's the relay for life but it's in pretty good condition i think i'm going to grab that and then i found this pink I think that's only going to be maybe i think women's stuff is like 50 cents and then, this was here last time I was here. This is just an L.L. Bean. It's made in USA. It's 100% wool. I'm definitely going to grab that. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this feel is nice. I think this is like two bucks. Like, the prices here are so cheap. How can you say no? All right, guys. So, they have them beef jerkies. They have these beef jerkies in there. Who are they made by? They are made by country meats and they're really good so i don't know if you can get them your way or look online but they are really good and i'm tired because this weather is just this rain rain go away come back another day it's just driving me it's putting me to sleep guys like all right guys so we are home let's get a better a better look at this at this suit it's got the hood um it's got the spell out. It says the Chicago. See, I don't know if this was something that you could buy, like, like in the hood on the corner, you know, like in in one of them shops or whatever. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit more research on this outfit. Um, I just want to get this video finished, so I'm not going to sit down and do it all now. It's got the elastic. I mean, it, I know this is old because it, it seems like there may have been elastic in the waist and it's kind of I'm gonna tie this string so I don't lose my string up in here but um it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like low quality but it doesn't it doesn't seem like high quality either like you know what I mean so I mean it does the zipper it just seems like something it almost it almost looks like something that somebody may have just may have just made you know so I don't know it says Chicago, and then it says Bulls on the left. So either way, I mean, I mean, I definitely picked up enough profit today to the point where it's like I should be okay. And here's a couple items. These are the items that were hanging up. Now this one he wanted, he wanted eighteen dollars for this one, which I would never pay. But it's definitely gonna gonna do well. This is an Orvis. It is made in Nor Nor Noritus or something. There's the tag. It has a denim collar and it's a rugby. 
It doesn't have like, you know, it's not like um, cut and sew, I guess you could call it, um, where it's like where this is, this is one piece and that's another piece. I think that's called cut and sew, something like that. Echo has a, has a, um, they have a line, it's called cut and sew. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but um, because they have jeans and shirts and they're not like that. So I don't know why it's called cut and sew, but I think that's what that is. But this is cool. It's got the denim collar on it. It's really dope. Um, I think I could get at least $30 for that. So I wouldn't pay 17, 19 or whatever it was to make that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I think he wanted 35 for this one. Now, since I had already spent $50 and bought all of them shirts, he charged me 20, he charged me $10 for that Orvis and this beautiful baby right here. This he wanted 35 for initially. It was been hanging up since the last time I was in that shop, which was probably a year ago. It had to have been at least six months. I think it was last year. So this is in great condition. I'm guessing that, that this is wool made in New Zealand, pure wool, dry clean only, okay. Um, I didn't look at it, but it's in perfect condition. It's got leather pockets on it. It's it's a McDonald New McDonald New Zealand. It is 100% pure wool, full zip. Um, I seen the vest for like sixty dollars, seventy dollars, something like high, maybe even eighty. So um, I think we're gonna do okay with this. And I'm guessing that this is probably real leather trim on the pockets that pockets good no hole good no hole this is great what size is it this is a large so this is probably a men's large this is dope um this has that smell to it too but it's not that bad i think it's just the shop it's like light smoke because of the bag i'm glad that he covered everything with the bag i really am so that orvis and that right there ten dollars for both of them Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All my subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in to Flip the Thrift. And don't forget to smash that like button. Hit the thumbs up. Smash the, hit that notification bell. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video. And subscribe to my channel, guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you subscribers. All you people tuning in to watch my video. And like I said, I really hope you guys are learning a lot and you're making lots of money and you're supporting your family, doing what you got to do, working from home, whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.